Got him. They don't hit top water, huh? He's a nice one too, on the point. I knew he would be there. I knew he would be right off yeah, that point. I knew he would be there. Oh yeah, he's trying to take off that way. Look at him, right here. Oh, nice one. He's a nice one. Put the stuff down because you can't get in the way of this big beast right here. This is a big one, look at him. Oh yeah, ladies and gentlemen. He is a nice one. On the 90, on the 90, the 90 class, whopper Clopper. I might have to get a little dirty for this one. Oh my God. Popper never fails him. The 90. Oh my god, right off the point. Man. Talk about big bass. Man. crankbaits that we ran today another crankbait that really did good today really did good guys it was a clearance crankbait from Walmart clearance they had the rebels about two years ago on clearance they were giving them away they started off at a dollar fifty sell price then they went down to a dollar when they didn't when they didn't get rid of them I went back there and I was getting each crankbait for 50 cents a crankbait I'll show you guys. I'll show you a couple of the baits that I ran today. Okay, these are these were the rebels, and they they still have them at Walmart sometimes, but these were the rebels. These guys in the last two days did some damage. These two guys, the rebel square bill crankbaits, rebel, really nice, and they come in different color uh, color patterns. Here's another rebel that I have here. There's another one. We didn't run this one. It's supposed to be like a crawl pattern. Crayfish kind of. But anyways, one that took the cake yesterday, did some damage yesterday. It's a bait that I found in the river. I had been casting for bait for a while. One day, like two years ago. And I lost my cast net on the river. It got stuck on the bottom. Man, $70 cast net. It was at nighttime, so of course, I didn't go after it. I wouldn't advise anybody to go after a cast net anyways, whether it's nighttime or day, but usually if I lose my cast net, I can tell by the string how deep it's in there in the water. And usually if it's real shallow, I go untangle it, un, un, uh, snag it and take it out. Well, that was nighttime, so I couldn't do it. I never went back. I said, ah, I lost it, I lost it. But then a year and a half to two years later, we were waiting there for flatheads. We were out there noodling basically, or trying to, and I ran into my cast net. I pulled the cast net out and it had all kinds of baits. It had these two crayfish on there. Basically, let me just tell you about this bait. It outshined any bait yesterday, the bait I found. It's the Matt Zoo, Matt Zoo bait. Let me see, right there. Man, the bass were just killing this bait. I swapped out the hooks because the hooks were garbage uh, last night. Today I didn't catch anything on it. Oh, look at that. I put some gamagatsus on them. Man, look at those hooks. I couldn't believe the size of bass that I caught on this bait with the rusty hooks and they were even mismatched hooks when I got it. When I found it, I took it home, threw it in the tackle box and never changed the hooks or nothing. I just, today, today's monsters were caught basically on these two baits. This one I marked with this Rebel and this Bomber. 
bomber one. Shallow, shallow runner bomber. And this rebel that I painted with the marker. It used to be blue back here. I drew the lines and painted it with a Sharpie marker because this is the original. This is original painting on it. And this got hit by a monster that got away from me yesterday. So what do I do? Because I only had one of these, I went and painted this one. <laughs> See, it's basically the same bait, but it had a blue top. So I painted this one and man, today I did some damage with this bait. But I'm gonna add this to that footage to, to I'm gonna add this to the footage of the bass fishing and stuff. But anyways, let's not forget this bomber bait too, guys. This one, you'll see the video where this where this bait catches that big one today. Uh, almost four pounder today with this bait right here. And yesterday, like I said, I lost a monster on this one. Made that four pounder look like a baby on this bait here. Why? Because of the hooks. I swapped out the hooks today or yesterday, last night. I swapped them out and put some VMC hooks, some VMC hooks today on it. And I put some VMC hooks on this one too. This is the other, the other Rebel. Both of these Rebels got VMC hooks. Just one's got bigger than the others. But this one here basically is this bait here. And man, it was getting, oh man, it was getting killed. They were eating this, man. Like, like filet mignon, I like to say. But anyways, one more time on the baits. That one, you'll see the video on that one. I'm pretty sure I have a video on the Matt Zoom. I have a video on that one. This one, oh my God, it was, it was good yesterday. Today was this one in the Rebels. Yesterday too, before I forget, I caught a bass on this bomber, which I just swapped out hooks on it too. I caught a fish, I was shocked because I hadn't even realized the hooks on it were bent on this one here. This one got struck many times by small ones. But I caught a nice one on this one too. Real nice bomber bait. So bomber, Mad Zoo. Another bomber, basically two bombers. These guys right here. The Mad Zoo and the Rebels did it. The last two days, they've done all the damage. A couple wacky ones too. A couple, a couple fish came on wackies. I pulled out my Academy uh, square bill crankbaits, the H2O. I tried them today just for a little bit. I didn't really get a lot of fishing time with them, but I brought some. This looks like a lot, a lot like the Kevin Van Dam. I love the action on them. They, man, they swim true. They're really nice. Here's two of them. I didn't bring all of them, actually three. I got a knocker one. I'll show you guys this one. Really nice from Academy. When I was down in Texas, I liked shopping at Academy, man. I always go in that store. I got these right here, a silent one, a shad pattern, silent one. This one, like the Kevin Van Damme one that's so popular, the black and yellow, silent also. But then I got this one, the knocker. You can hear it. Really nice baits, man. They ran really nice. I was really happy with them. So all in all, here's your, your bait, basically. Oops. Well, these didn't, the Academy ones, we'll put them to the side because I didn't fish them a lot today, but basically, bottom, we're gonna go through the bottom ones. Bam, that one, awesome bait. And the little guy too, I got a little guy that did real well, where is he? Where is he? Right here, look at that. Those two right there. Bomber, and then here, this bomber too. And the Rebels, right there, with the Sharpie painted one. <laughs> I painted that one, look at that, nice. And then the Matt Zoo. Man, I can't believe it. Sometimes somebody's snag is somebody else's gold. I can say that, so. I hope you guys enjoy this, this part of this video. I hope you learned something today. Um, the rods were ran, just like I said, both medium action rods, both 17 pound tests, only the gear ratio was different. The Corrado was, the Corrado was six, two to one. No, seven, two to one. Is that right? Corrado, seven, two to one, and the Cronart was six, two to one. A slower pace. Hi everyone, this is Jeff Garcia with the Crankbait Budget. <laughs> Fishing on a budget with crankbaits, guys. First, before I get started, I hope you guys had a great Memorial Day. Uh, today's the day after the Memorial Day, and I hope you guys had a lot of fun. 
Uh, this video it, uh, was asked a while back for me to make this video. People wanting to know how I was catching all those smallmouth bass and how I was catching all those largemouth bass. And the most important part of it was that I want people to know that yes, fishing is expensive, but it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be. And for bank fishermen, I say it again, I'll say it a million times, it's a challenge. Why? Because we don't have an open range when it comes to fishing areas. And in my town here in Rockford, Illinois, there isn't a whole lot of lakes where you can fish. And like this lake, it's an awesome lake. Yeah, it's a nice lake, but it's highly pressured. It's highly pressured and it takes its beatings. And there's times that I've come here and I couldn't catch one bass out of here. So, and then there's times where I caught two and three in a row, you know, and some people might say, well, that's bass fishing. Uh, today, a big thing is the price of baits. Um, your average bait averages from $7 to $11, one crankbait. So I'm gonna kinda let the cat out of the box <laughs> and I'm gonna discuss some things that it doesn't have to be that, that way. Um, it doesn't have to be expensive. Of course, you'll have your favorite lures that you might wanna spend a little bit more money on, but for the most part, it doesn't have to be expensive. Now you guys know from my videos in the past and you know from my video, my rod video, my rod video, my rod setup, uh, that I'm faithfully into clearance. I, I'll, I'll research a rod, I'll keep it in mind. I'll research two or three rods. And this is just a, a little key point to give to you guys. This is what you could do. If there's a rod that you, that you really would love to own one day and you don't have the money for it, Obviously, you don't have the money for it. And let's say it's a ducket rod. Let's say it's a, one of the Shimano series rods that they have, uh, a specific rod, uh, that it's a drop shot rod or whatever, or St. Croix or, or to name a few, a Bass Pro's Elite rod or whatever. You keep it in mind, but when you're keeping it in mind, this is what you do. You don't just keep it in mind to go buy it, that you wanna buy it. Do the research on it, find out a little bit about it. Find out a little bit about it because you'd be surprised what you'll learn when you do some research. And it's a lot of us, it's at our hands. It's right here, it's a phone, you know? So what I'm gonna say is this, with baits, it's the same thing. With baits, you can do research. Everybody has a YouTube video on a certain bait. In my case here, we're talking about crank baits on a budget, fishing on a budget, bank fishing on a budget. That's what this is all about fishing on a budget. Well, how do you do that? Well, first of all, you take advantage of sales. You take advantage of clearances. Clearances, don't get it confused. Clearances are way better than sales, guys. But clearances, there's a limited, when clearances come around, there's a limited equipment. There's not all this equipment, all this selection. But if you know what you're shopping for, if you keep it simple, you keep it, um, certain patterns that work in your area, certain crankbait patterns, uh, certain color patterns, let's put it that way, let's, let's put it correct, certain uh, uh, depths of baits that you use. Like let's say you're a bank fisherman and you fish a lot of shallow water. Well, that should tell you, hey, if you don't wanna lose baits and you wanna keep your baits, you wanna keep catching fish, first and foremost, that's the most important part, you wanna catch fish, that's all understandable. But if you are on a budget, this video is for you. And this is the reason this video is for you. Because when you're on a budget, you can't afford to lose. Let's say you buy that six and 11 and $12 bait. You can't afford to do that. So you prepare yourself for those situations. In my situation, people will say, well, you're missing out on catching more fish. Because why? I use 17 pound line, monofilament, straight monofilament. The rivers, the lakes, the ponds that I fish, it lends itself for that because first of all, the visibility is probably about a foot, a foot and a half at the most. So therefore, I don't have to always use fluorocarbon. I do sometimes, but very rare do I use it. Now on my drop shot rig and, and, and uh, wacky rig, I do because most of the time when I'm wacky rigging and, and drop shot rigging, it's right there, right at my feet where I'm doing it. I'm not casting out. But anyways, back to the crankbait series video. This is the way I've done it for years. And I'm gonna talk about it. A lot of people won't say anything about it, 
but I'm telling you, they keep it a secret. But when you go to Walmart, when you go to Bass Pros, you'll see that bin that Bass Pros has. They'll have all these crankbaits, uh, $2 crankbaits. That is the bin for you. That is the bin that you need to really look at your baits, look at your color patterns that you want, experiment with those baits. Most of these baits, these low costing baits, all you have to do is swap out the hooks. Invest a little bit on the hooks. You're bank fishing. You set yourself up to using 17 pound test right off the bat. A good line to get. I said it in my rod video. I've used it for already four or five years already. It's XL Smooth Casting. It's the Red Box by Trilene. It's a very nice line. I'm not getting paid for any of this, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm doing this solely from my experience and because I want people to catch fish and I don't want people being frustrated. I lost my $10 lure. I lost my $5 lure. That, believe it or not, it discourages fishermen. It really does. You go out to Bass Pros and you spend $100 on crankbaits and you lose every one of them of it. You don't know how to, how to protect your investment. And that's really what this is also about, is protecting your investment. Yes, you might not catch a whole bunch of fish. That's, that's true, everybody knows that. And I know somebody's gonna come on this video where you're losing out and you're using cheap baits. Let me tell you, I've sat there and fished next to guys that are using their Lucky Crafts. I don't even use them on the river. I don't use them. I don't use my Lucky Craft baits. I do have them. I do buy expensive baits, but when I'm bank fishing, I don't use a lot of that equipment. I use my low budget equipment and I catch just as many fish as if I'm fishing off the boat with the expensive baits. Do you have an edge with expensive baits? In most cases you do, in some cases you don't. Is that confusing what I just said? Yes, it's a little confusing, but you have to experiment. The only way you're gonna find out is if you fish. And I'm gonna show you some baits that I faithfully buy. Number one that I started with when I started loving crankbait fishing. I fish a lot of crankbait and I fish a lot of top water. So number one, that's my number one bait that I buy a lot. I actually, I probably have 25 of them at home in a box. It's the Cotton Cordell. Cotton Cordell, it's, this one doesn't tell you the depth it goes, but it goes on 10 pound, I can, on 10 pound monofilament, I can get it down to about seven, eight feet, this bait. It's, a, it's got a nice long bill. This color pattern here is amazing, guys. What are you out of? $1.90 at Walmart. You heard me say it. I probably own about 25 of these. I go through them. I catch so many smallmouth on these baits. I caught um, the biggest largemouth I've caught was three point, I think 3.9 pounds on it. Numerous two pounders on this bait right here, Cotton Cordell. And I'm not making a dime, guys, from these people. I'm just, this is all about bank fishing. This is all about fishing on a budget. This is all about having fun fishing and not have to worry so much about, I lost my $10 lure. I lost my $12 lure. You're not gonna go through that if you shot like this. Now, a lot of these baits here, they never go on clearance. They're $1.90, that's usually what they stay. The high price ones will go on clearance. Now, when the high price ones go on clearance, and they're $2.50, $3. I put this aside because I already know I got a bunch of them at home and I shop till I drop for the other, the other lures. So that's my first one. I caught my first, what was it, like 18 inch smallmouth with this bait here. And since then, I've caught smallmouth after smallmouth after smallmouth, a couple large mouths, like I said, three plus pounds, 3.9 or something like that was caught on, on this bait here. So, awesome bait. On 17 pound test, you'll get it to go about four feet. If you're not fishing uh, an area that has a lot of current, you'll probably get six feet off, off of it, but it's a nice bait, awesome bait. I can vouch for this bait. My second runner up, I have to say, I'll show you guys. It's not, this, it's not this particular bait, but it's this brand of bait, this series of baits. These baits were made. The Rebel Bait. Walmart as well. What happened? Two years ago, I think it was about two, 
two and a half years ago, they had the Rebel crankbaits in boxes of $1.50. When they could not sell them for $1.50, of course I picked a couple of them, grabbed a couple of them. $1.50, I'll give them a shot. I never really fished Rebel baits. I had a couple Rebel baits, but from back in the day, some old ones that I caught fish on and, and stuff like that, but I, never, I seen the deal. It was a clearance at Walmart. They were getting rid of all of them. They ended up being 50 cents, guys, 50 cents. For bank fishing, are you kidding me? I got the whole box. What was left, I took the whole box. At 50 cents a piece, I took the whole box. Rebel guys, don't sleep on this. You wanna bank fish and you wanna fish on a budget and you love fishing crankbaits, get you some Rebel baits. I, I'm sure you guys are gonna also stop and think now, from now on, about fishing, bank fishing, and how much you have to spend and all that. So. This bait here, this is also an awesome bait, but this dives a little deep. On 17 pound test, I'm, I'm fishing, I'm bank fishing mainly four, maybe six, six feet, but I try to stay away from six feet. I usually catch a lot of my bass two to four feet deep. So I do use this bait sometimes. And I'll show you my box here in a minute. Another, another, another bait that I really love too, same company, is the Rebel Bait. The same company, Rebel Baits, but they're square built. All these baits, guys, here, some of them I paid $1.50, some of them I paid up to 50 cents. Why? I took full advantage of the clearance. These square built crankbaits are deadly. Deadly, guys. On 17 pound tests, you're not gonna even lose them that much. You're gonna get your bait back. They have a wobble, a crazy wobble to them, the baits. When you're bank fishing, I give you this advice. I, basically, my whole video has been giving you this advice. You don't have to go expensive. Awesome, awesome baits in different color patterns. What I do, I give you this advice. Stay to the color patterns. Don't venture off to your purples, pinks, and all that stuff. Don't do that with these baits. Pick you out some color patterns that you like. Maybe your shad pattern. Um, uh, a gold pattern, um, a white, all white pattern, you know. I, I've, I've, I've caught myself even sharpie marking in the top. They get scuffed up real bad, I take a sharpie mark, a black one, boom, cover the top. I take a sharpie red marker or an orange one, boom, do the bottom of the bait. Boom, get bait, get bites. Awesome, rebel. Okay. My next bait, this bait took on a four pound, four pound largemouth. And it was awesome, I got the video for that and it's already on my bass video. You'll see it in there. I made the mistake of saying this was a bomber bait on that video and it's not. You're clearly gonna see that it's not a bomber bait. It was a mistake, I kept thinking it was a bomber bait. This deal here has a story as well, this bait here. Right here guys. This bait here has a story as well. Uh, I say about eight years ago, yep, eight years ago, my father and I were at Dick's Sporting Goods. For some reason, Dick's Sporting Goods was remodeling their store at that point. They've actually recently remodeled it again, but they were remodeling their store and they did away with a lot of Rapala baits, a lot of Excalibur, a lot of Storm baits, and they were giving them away. These were $2. I can't even tell you how many largemouth bass I've caught on these baits, even smallmouth. $2, taking advantage of clearance, guys. Don't sleep on these, these baits that people say cheap baits. They're not, if they're $2, you're not gonna catch anything on them. Do not think like that. These baits catch fish. I said Excalibur in some of my videos, it's not the Excalibur. You know the Excalibur brand? It's not that brand. There it is. That's the bait right here, guys. Awesome bait. Look at that shad pattern. Anything in a shad pattern, a lot of us should know this by now, but some of us don't. That's why YouTube videos are made, and that's why we're doing this. You always want to have a shad pattern. Here's another bait. Shad pattern. Why? Because they work. They catch fish awesome topwater lure here once again it's not a $20 lure it's not a $15 lure 
awesome baits guys awesome baits but this bait here i've been catching a lot of bass on it real nice bait once again i'll show it to you guys one more time that's the brand right there you maybe can find these on eBay. I looked for them the other night because I wanted to grab a whole bunch of them again because I only got four left. So my next runner up, I, I already showed it to you guys. It's baits made by Heaton. Boom, right there. An awesome bait. This one is the Super Spook Junior, that size. That's a good size right there. Awesome size. It's upside down, but the Super Spook Junior, can you see it? Uh, anyways, it's the Zara Spooks baits. Real nice baits. Awesome baits. Now, my personal best. I said it in my bass video. We've been running for 18 minutes. I'm going to show you guys. River to Sea. I love you guys for making these baits. These baits are awesome. Larry Dahlberg, thank you very much. And you owe me a bait. I caught 16 bass in one day. 16 bass in one day on this bait right here right here it's the bluegill 28 bluegill and they broke the treble hook they broke the propeller on it and no i'm not gonna i don't want nobody to say oh durability they're not good they're awesome baits man i put them through the mill i mean i've man i've had situations where i cast it was in the tree and i fought it for 30 minutes to get my bait back i hit it against the wall the pillar and they're awesome baits but River to Sea, look out for me. I caught 16 bass, over 16 bass. I have the video and I'm gonna bring that video out to show everyone over 16 bass on this lure right here. Awesome lure, the bluegill. But now my personal best was caught on this guy right here. The Whopper Plopper, the Perch, 09 Perch. The 90 series Whopper Ploppers are amazing, guys. If you don't have a Whopper Plopper in your tackle box, you are missing out. You might be out of $16, and some states they're still charging $16. Some states are $12.99, and Dick's sometimes, Dick's Sporting Goods sometimes has them two for 10. If not, check out the deals. Keep track of Dick's because they send you coupons in the mail, uh, right to your computer. Take advantage of this, guys. You must have a Whopper Plopper in your tackle box. You will not go wrong. It even have the different sizes if you want. But my success has been with the 90 series. 90 series, my friends. Awesome Whopper Plopper. Now, all these baits here that I've showed you, I throw them on my Shimano rod, medium power, fast action, or I throw them now on my Halo rod, medium power, fast action awesome rods for all these baits that I've showed you so far. Now, here's another bait that I really love by Rebel. This bait here. It's a crawfish with a bill. This one I can get it with 17 pound test up to about six feet. It's an awesome bait right here by Rebel. What I do with this bait, because I started losing a lot of baits, number one is I take the treble hooks and put them in my catfish box treble hooks. And I use them for stink bait hooks. That's an idea. Don't throw them away, guys. I've seen, I've, I've made the mistake too. We're all, sometimes we're just, we're a little slow sometimes and, and we make those mistakes. Take all these treble hooks, put them in a little box. These all small treble hooks, what you can do with them, put them in a little box and when you make your little tubes, make you some tubes. Make you some tubes for stink bait, for catfishing, for channel catfishing. Use those hooks. Do not throw them in the garbage. But this bait, what I do, guys, is the secret to this bait, to not losing this bait, is I leave the back treble hook on the back. It doesn't off-balance the bait. It doesn't. I've tried it. I've caught fish on it. It doesn't. I take that middle body treble hook off. I take the back one off, and I put me a Gamagatsu treble hook on there, a VMC, a Eagle Claw from Walmart. They all work. But I only put the back, the back end of the bait. As you can see right here, this treble hook, I removed both treble hooks and I put a VMC, Eagle Claw, Gamagatsu, whatever. I put it on there. Awesome bait. This bait here, actually, when I get it down there, this bait and my cotton cordel, they tell me what I'm facing. 
whether I'm facing mud bottom, sand bottom, rock bottom, logs, trees, cars, whatever. It, it's gonna, these are gonna tell you what's down there. So check that out. If you can find these on eBay, which I'm pretty sure you can, you'll like them. Real quick, guys, because I'm, I'm running out of time. Here's another one, a crawl pattern. It's just a little bit of brown on there, orange belly, square bill, square bill. Now, utilize your square bill crankbaits, guys. You see a clearance, you see some square bill crankbaits, grab them. Go, grab the color patterns that you feel comfortable with. Take advantage of that clearance, take advantage of that sell, because we're bank fishermen. We're gonna lose a lot of stuff. The thing that people have to understand is when you cast and you're casting from the bank, it's not like fishing off of a boat. You're fishing off of a boat, you bring the, the bait to you, you're bringing the bait to you. That means you're bringing the bait to deep water. In the case of bank fishing, you're not bringing it into deep water. You're bringing it into those rocks. You're bringing it into those logs, whatever's down there. So you're gonna lose a lot of baits. So therefore, I'm telling you, take advantage of your clearance and your cells. So that's one good bait right there. Here's another one that just came on the scene in Rockford. Awesome bait, Cotton Cordell again. Square bill, it's the little one. This is a, a red color pattern. It's supposed to imitate uh, crawfish in the summer. When they get that red tint to them, it's supposed to imitate that. But this is also an awesome bait and it's in budget. You know, you can fish it on a budget. That's what this is all about. This video's for that. Don't sleep on the baits that are high producing baits that will catch you bass. You will do awesome with these baits. Set yourself up. It doesn't have to be expensive, guys. There's another bait. I don't have an Academy sports store here, but when I go to Texas, Missouri, anywhere when I'm traveling and there's an Academy, you best believe I'm stopping there. Because Academy, I know a couple years back, if, if you hit a clearance, you hit the jackpot with Academy. The finish on their crankbaits, on their square bill crankbaits, shallow running crankbaits, bar none, is awesome in their durability i've banged them off of walls and everything they barely get scratches on them they barely get paint chipped off of them i'm not going to say they don't because one or two cases i've noticed that some of the paint chipped off but the craft on them is awesome i gotta show them to you guys these are just a few these are these are what i have in, in the inventory now these are big boy crankbaits like these this one says five to eight feet but with my 17 pound test i keep it right at four feet Awesome, Academy H2O. Awesome bait, guys. You can get these with knockers in them and you can get them silent. I advise to get both because I've been fishing several times where I cannot get a fish to bite because it has a knocker in it or the other way around. As soon as I change the bait and it's a silent bait, boom, I catch a fish. Or as soon as I go to the knocking square bill bait, boom, I catch fish. So awesome baits from h2o man awesome baits man like i said the five to eight footers you'll get them to go four feet on 17 pound trilene xl the red box guys you guys will love that line it cast is awesome but here's some baits here's another one this is a two to five feet so you know with the 17 pound you're going to run it right at two feet so that's cool here's another one awesome awesome color patterns look at that you got to have the color patterns. What I would suggest, you want to cover color patterns, here you go. Here's a perfect example. And that goes across the board with whatever brand you buy. There's a perfect example, guys. Awesome. Perfect example of your color patterns. Because you guys keep hearing me say color patterns, but there it is, guys. That's what I'm talking about. Now, real quick, I'm going to let you guys dive into my, into my crank bi crank bo crankbait box real quick. Another thing. You gotta cheat a little bit <laughs> you gotta cheat guys so anyways here we go check out this these were eight dollars eight to nine dollars i was at bass pros in san antonio texas two dollars guys they were on clearance i grabbed a bunch of them mega strike just put a dab on your crankbait a little bit on your drop shot rig on your not the drop shot rig itself but the worm but yes, this, this stuff here, it works. It works. It's, it's good stuff. I really like it. I always keep one in my backpack. Always. 
But anyways, let's get to it because it's 29 minutes and people don't like when you, you spend a lot of time. There's a bait that I did not mention. And I'm gonna mention it right now. We got, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this video 40 minutes, guys, to just show you guys a lot of my baits that I use. Now, we're gonna just stick to the ones that I use for bank fishing, guys, okay? Bomber, bomber, square bill, $4. Don't fall asleep on these baits. Here, bam, awesome. Look at that, guys, awesome. Okay, so that's those two. Then I recently got this. I didn't know they made it. If you'll notice, I haven't even changed the hooks on these two. Now, you all know why I got this bait, right? You guys know why I got this bait, right? This is all bomber baits. I just recently got these two. I didn't know they made a shad pattern one, but because I catch so many bass on shad pattern baits, I had to get it. I bought me two of them. This guy, I only found one. I wonder why. I'll tell you why. Actually, you guys, if you've been following the video, you'll know why. Cotton Cordell. My, one of my first number one baits, guys. Look at that. Almost identical. I can't wait to fish this bait. Of course, I will be swapping out the hooks. These will end up being stink bait catfish hooks on both of these new baits. And I'll put some gummies, some VMCs, or some Eagle Claw, something. I'll put something on them. But you guys know why there was no, no more of these, huh? You guys can't keep it a secret. We gotta tell these people about this bait, guys. We gotta tell them. It, it's just, it's just amazing. This bait, this color pattern right here catches fish. Cotton Cordell, bomber. Awesome, look at that. Pat out, money in the bank, cha-ching. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so those were the color patterns for the bomber. Anyways, that's my bomber baits. Now I'm gonna show you my, my Cotton Cordell, which I already showed you guys the package, but I'm gonna show you again what my color patterns are. Like I said, stick to the color patterns, guys. Stick to the color patterns. This is very similar to the hot one that I really like. Very similar. That's that. Here's the second one. I gotta have that. Here's the third one for that dirty water. When that summer really brings the, the water down in the river, start using this one. It'll be unbelievable. It's beat up. Beat up. The back, the bottom, everywhere. Beat up. I'm telling you. Because the water gets clearer. As it gets shallower, it gets clearer. You start, you start to see it in two, three feet. They see it. That's your shad pattern right there. There it is. That's your shad pattern. If I leave the house and I only want to take two, three baits, you best believe these two are coming. Because I'm either going to catch them on this bait or I'm going to catch them on this bait. When we're talking six feet, seven feet of water. Okay? But mainly I fish four, two to four feet of water. That's mainly what I fish. But here's the color patterns one time, one more time. Cotton Cordell, guys. Guess what? $1.90. Fishing on a budget. Fishing on a budget. Doesn't hurt so much to lose one of these baits. And a lot of these baits here, this one is very rare to find it. As soon as you see, I don't fish it a lot. I mean, I have caught a lot of I have caught some fish on it. It's a little beat up, but I don't fish it a lot. Actually, I took one of these baits before and I put it on eBay and a guy was willing to give me $13 for it. I didn't sell it, I kept it. But Cotton Cordell, budget guys, $1.90, you can't beat it. It's a Cordell, the new baits that came out that I'm catching fish on now as well for $1.90, can't beat it. Can't beat it, you cannot beat it. These guys right here, square bill. And I'm gonna tell you why I believe that I'm catching fish on these, not I, you know, of course, because it's a good bait. Um, I happen to put a new set in here because I <laughs> I lost all the other ones, basically. Well, I have one more bass, one tied to my other bass pole. But anyways, these I haven't swapped out the hooks. I threw them in here because I wanted to demonstrate that do not lose the opportunity of buying these baits. Cotton Cordell, square bill. The little baby ones. You'll get maybe a foot and a half to two feet off of them. Here's the first one, Cotton Cordell. $1.90 again. The little bass pattern, $1.90 again. Shad pattern, $1.90 again. Crawfish pattern. Now I'm gonna show them to the other camera. Bass pattern, crawfish pattern, cotton cordell. And where's my other one? 
fire tiger. You gotta have fire tiger when that rain comes, that water gets real dirty, this is what you're gonna need. This right here. And then the shad pattern, cotton cordell, $1.90. Don't forget to bathe them. <laughs> don't forget to give them a little shower, guys. That helps too sometimes. I don't do it all the time, but I do it, I do it sometimes. So that's those baits there. Then let me get to the to the nitty-gritty, the, the baits that I've been catching a lot of bass. I took on a almost four pounder with this bait and many, many two pounders, guys. Many, many two pounders. Let me get them out real quick. So that we don't start, yeah, I don't like banging them up, but let me get these baits out. So that way you guys check them out. I also have a brown one too, guys, a brown one. You've seen this one earlier in my video, Rebel. Guys, $1.50 to 50 cents I was getting these baits. I have a whole box at home. This bait here, you guys are gonna say, oh, that looks like the Kevin Van Dam bait. Yeah, it does, but that's not the point. This bait here, guys, man, three plus pound bass, mostly all the time. And I lost a monster last year on this bait here. I, I don't. I'm not one to throw weights out there like that, guys. But I know this this bass was over five pounds that I lost. You see this one here? It's the same bait as this one. There's one difference. No rattle in it. No knocker. Another difference is it's got blue. I sharpie marked the top because it was all scuffed up. The blue was gone, so I sharpie marked the top of it. No, no knocker, knocker. This one here, wow, unbelievable. But like I said, I also have a crawl pattern. I'll show it to you guys real quick. This, these guys right here. There it is, guys. Rebel baits. Clearance, took advantage of it. And these aren't very expensive. You can still buy them even though they're not on clearance, you can still buy them. There's another bait that I have to talk about and I talked about it earlier. And this is why we're going to go back to the bomber real quick. Remember this bomber bait right here? Remember this bomber bait right here, buddies? Look at that. This bait here claimed almost a four pounder. And it didn't do it once. It did it a couple times. That's why I bought this one the other day. Yes, the, the profile is different on the bait, but it doesn't matter. I know that these shad pattern baits catch fish. We're gonna see. This bait here, let me put the bomber back down. I'll show you. I, I went through all my inventory just to find this bait and I don't have very many of them left. It's that bait there. This is cha-ching, cha-ching. Wherever I take this bait, it is not gonna fail me. It is going to catch bass. There it is, guys. Awesome little bait, look at that. Awesome little bait. I also have it in a bass pattern. This catches fish too as well. Very nice, very nice bait. It's gonna be very hard to find these baits, guys. Like I said, I got these for $2. It was a clearance deal and I bought a bunch of them. At $2 at Dick's, they had that remodeling part that they were doing at the store and they were getting rid of all their fishing stuff. They were gonna get all new stuff. Boom, I got it. This is cha-ching right here, guys. Cha-ching, this is money in the bank. Money in the bank, my friends. So anyways, we're at 38 minutes now. So let me get to it. This bait here, I was catfishing one year. It was at night and I was using my cast net on the bank, casting my cast net. I got my cast net stuck. The following season, we did some noodling, trying to do some noodling. We weren't successful with that. And I found my cast net. I pulled my cast net and I pulled a bunch of Rapalas storm everything i pulled every brand you could think of but i pulled this this gold i pulled this gold out this is a mat zoo bait i cannot find it online cannot find it on ebay there it is awesome bait it has claimed some monsters close to four pounds all the time i think the reason this bait is because when you stop reeling this bait it suspends perfect. It, it just, it just, it, I'm not gonna say it turns around and looks at you like the commercials say about baits, but I'm gonna say this, when I'm reeling this bait and I all of a sudden stop it and I look in the water, it just sits just like that. 
and slowly it starts going down slowly just like that and slowly it starts going down awesome bait man awesome bait i can't find it i i'm very picky of where i throw this bait there's a pond that i love to fish i'll throw it there because i know that hey you know i can get a, i can get this bait back but that's an awesome matt zoo baby matt zoo matt zoo bait awesome bait guys Oh, got him. Got him. Got him. Woo! Woo! Beautiful fish. Oh, man. Dreaming of your next hook set once again. Grandote. Big one. Please don't get off. Please don't get off. Beautiful. Please don't get off. Tighten the drag a little bit. Hello, Mr. Ganze. Oh my goodness, I did it again. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Tighten, tighten, tighten. Despacito, porque es un crankbait chico, eh? Es un crankbait chiquito. Ay, 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 ¿cómo lo voy a hacer aquí? Let's get him out of the water. I'm gonna have to go down here and get him, guys. I don't want to be this, but I'm gonna have to. Wow. Mira nomás. Mira nomás lo que tengo aquí. Mira nomás, guys. Yeah. This is the way we do it, baby. This is the way we do it. Oh, man, that's a beautiful bass. Look at that. Hey, look at this thing, baby. We love the crankbait. Look at Man, look at that. Beautiful fish. Man, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. 